Turn off the mains electrical supply before starting work. Remove and disconnect the existing power socket. It may be useful at this point to mark out or take a photograph of the connections to the existing socket, so that the correct wires can easily be transferred to the new socket. Some existing wiring configurations can be complex, so take care. Check the back box behind the existing socket. A minimum depth of 35mm is recommended. Remove the Lightwave RF power socket faceplate by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the bottom slot and lifting it away from the unit. Connect the wiring to the socket, carefully following the diagrams in the instruction manual. Connect any earth cables to either earth terminal. Connect all live cables to the L terminal. Connect all neutral cables to the N terminal. Ensure that the terminals are properly tightened and that no bare wire is visible. Mount the socket to the back box and ensure that the screws are sufficiently tight enough to support the product. Do not over tighten as this may cause the chassis to bend. Ensure that the plastic spacer is correctly aligned and that no wires are trapped between the socket and the back box. Replace the plate. A click sound should be heard to signify that the plate has been correctly fitted. Turn the mains electrical supply back on. Press and hold down the on-off button until the blue and amber LEDs flash alternately. The socket is now in linking mode and you have 12 seconds in which to complete the link. Using your smartphone app, Press the button intended to be linked. The blue LED on the socket will flash to confirm that the phone is now linked. Repeat for the second gang if using a double socket. If the LED slowly flashes amber, this means the socket memory is full and no further control devices may be linked with it unless one of the existing controllers is first unlinked. To unlink a control device, first on the socket, press and hold down the on-off button until the blue and amber LED indicators flash alternately. The socket is now in linking mode. Then, using the app, press the button intended to be unlinked. The amber LED indicator light on the socket will flash rapidly to confirm that the remote is now unlinked. Press and hold down the on-off button until the LEDs flash alternately. The socket is now in linking mode. Press and hold down the on-off button until both LEDs flash together. Tap the manual button. The amber LED will rapidly flash before turning solid amber. The memory is now cleared.